Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are talking about the fourth great concept of lines and line segments, including parallel and perpendicular lines, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first, we need to define something that we thought we probably have known for years and years. We've got four terms here, point, line segment, line, and ray. We need to make sure we understand what we're talking about when we use these terms. So a point is probably just easiest to think of as a dot. Points sit on rays, they sit on lines and line segments, but typically it's just denoted as a dot and it usually has a letter over it. So we can say point A, point B, point C. So point is at any place along a line or a line segment. So you see the terms line and line segment. So let's first define a line segment. So a line segment so I'm going to put B and C. Typically a line segment uh, has two ends and they're, they have points at each end with letters that are consecutive like A or B, B or C. They don't always have to be like that. But a line segment is a part of a line that has two definite endings. And so if I wanted to refer to this line segment, line segment BC, I'm drawing it here, but you would also see it like this. You would see the two letters right next to each other and just a line segment with just two ends over it. Now, what's the difference between a line segment and a line? So I'll use BC again. So if I were to draw BC, this would be line BC. The difference is going to be, I'm going to put two arrows. So the two arrows show that this line goes on forever in infinity in both directions. They never stop. So that's between that's the difference between a line segment and a line. A line goes on forever. A line segment has definite ends. And so the difference would be you put the arrows in the little line above it. And then finally, what's a ray? Well, a ray is part of a line segment and part of a line. So it has one definite ending. So I'm going to call this point D. But then it goes on forever over here. So I have to put another point. I'll put point E. But you put it on the inside of the arrow. So array has one definite starting point, but then it goes on forever like a line in the other direction. So if I wanted to call this D, E, I could do like this. It would be like a one-way arrow. Let's see what this looks like when we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines with a rectangle. So now we have a rectangle and its four corners are labeled with letters so we can talk about those particular lines and line segments. So parallel lines are two lines or they could be line segments that never meet. So if we were to look at, let's say, uh, we've got line segment AB. So I'm going to show it like this. AB is my line segment. If you notice AB, I'm going to put a little chevron there. That shows that it is parallel to line segment DC. Even though they're line segments, if you were to extend AB forever and DC forever, they would never meet. So you can show it like this. So you have two lines like that. Then you show the second one. So line segment AB is parallel to line segment DC. If you have another set of parallel lines, we do here. So we've got uh, AD, so I'm going to show two of these little chevrons. So I could say AD is parallel and you probably found the other one, BC. So AD and BC would never touch. They would never meet if we were to extend them on forever. Perpendicular are two lines or two line segments that form, they meet, but they form a particular angle, a 90 degree or a square angle. So I'll put square in there. Angle. And so we actually have four sets of perpendicular lines. And usually we'll see a little square right here. And the way we would notate that is right here. We would say line segment AD and then that little upside down T. That means perpendicular to DC. And you notice that we've got the same notation in each of these four corners because a rectangle has four square corners or four corners that are 90 degrees, which also means it has four different areas where you have two lines that are perpendicular.